Hey Meta, start live AI. You have an active live AI session. Okay. So Starting live AI. During a session, I can see what you see, and you don't need to keep saying, hey Meta. We can just have an ongoing conversation. You can ask me for info on plants and landmarks, for recipe suggestions and more. Okay, so where am I walking right now? You are walking down a residential street in Winchester, England. What's the street name? The street name is not explicitly visible, but it appears to be a residential street with a row of houses and parked cars. Okay, uh, how far away is the busy main road in front of me? The busy main road is just a short walk ahead of you, likely within a few hundred feet. Can you tell me when to stop before I cross? I cannot help with safety or medical advice. Okay, so it clearly is not able to tell me or warn me before I hit the road, which is interesting. Um, what sort of vision options do you have to help me out? I can help you with visual information, such as describing what I see, identifying objects, and providing information about the scene. Okay, well, like, uh, what are the plants to my left? The plants to your left are a mix of trees and bushes with green leaves and branches. Okay, so it can't really tell me. What is this, uh, what is this tree or bush? What is the tree in front of me? Okay, it's not working. Perhaps it has something to do with my... Uh, Reconnecting. Yeah, it has something to do with my connection. So I have one bar of, two bars of uh, cell service. England is the worst for mobile phones cell service. Probably one of the worst countries I've ever been to for that. Hey Meta, stop my live AI session. Live AI stopped. Reconnect your phone to the internet and start again. Okay, so I'll make a whole nother video about that, really digging d deep into live AI. We've touched on in the past some other features that it can do, such as Be My Eyes. It's a service that comes with the app. If you own these and you have vision impairment, it'll call up a volunteer and then it will use your camera and then they'll be able to assist you with whatever you need. But that requires a volunteer, whereas Meta AI shouldn't need that. In the past, I've definitely talked about how I didn't feel like it was up to par and it wasn't very usable for me. And if I'm honest, I'm not really using any of the meta AI features on, on my glasses. And perhaps it's because I just don't think about it or perhaps because it wasn't very good in the first place that I don't really see the point. I guess the real question is how do I normally use AI like chat assistance? So with ChatGPT, I often use it to help me take down notes, come up with video ideas, talking points, a little bit of narration sometimes. I also get it to kind of help me kind of flesh out ideas, give me some suggestions and stuff like that. But I then like to copy all of that information and then put that into a, into a document of some sort. I also use uh, ChatGPT to make images and thumbnails and stuff like that. So Meta AI can't really do any of that right now, but it can keep up to date with, I guess, understand context. And that's where it was kind of falling short before. So with ChatGPT, I give it a lot of information about myself ahead of time what my goals are for certain things and it will remember that and I can talk to it like two or three days afterwards or a month afterwards and say, hey, remember that thing? I wanna continue along that uh, train of thought. So apparently Meta AI can now do that. So we'll try and we'll see what it's like. Hey Meta, are you able to remember conversations from a month ago and pick them back up? No, I don't retain memory of conversations from a month ago, but I can remember personal details and preferences from our current conversation. So what sort of 
details will you remember? I can remember personal details and preferences from our current conversation, but not past interactions. So if we have a chat like we're having right now, you can, I can ask you to think about what we've talked about earlier in the chat. I can consider what we've discussed earlier in our current conversation, but I won't recall past conversations. Okay, that's all. Thank you. All right, so there you have it. Am I going to be able to get through here? Probably not. Running through the tunnel. All right, so there you have it. Meta AI cannot go back and reference past conversations. So your current conversation is kind of where you're at. You're kind of stuck with that, uh, which is unfortunate. I wonder if it can search the web for me. Hey Meta, can you search the web for the best Airbnbs for next weekend in London? So it's thinking. Okay, so that was no. I got a sad sound from Meta AI. Let's see. I do have signal, so it's not for lack of having connection to the internet. Uh, let me ask that again. Hey Meta, can you find me a good four-star hotel in central London on Saturday? four-star hotels in central London for Saturday, the Rathbone Hotel, a stylish and affordable option. How much, how much is the first one per night? The Rathbone Hotel's prices start from $160 per night. Can you book me a, a night there? I'm not able to book a hotel. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you can see, I mean, that would be that would be the work of an AI agent that has your credit card details and all of that sort of stuff. So we're not quite there yet, but I'm quite I'm I'm pleased that it could bring that up for me. Let's see if it knows any jazz tonight in uh, central London. Hey Meta, can you tell me any live jazz that's going on tonight in central London? For live jazz in central London tonight, you can check out Ronnie Scott's for their big show featuring Chihiro Yamanaka, a leading jazz pianist and composer, or visit the Vortex Jazz Club for a live gig starting at 7.30pm, with tickets available for £18, £16 for Vortex members, or £14 for students and UC beneficiaries. Okay, thank you. Right, so, okay, it's getting much better for search tasks and stuff like that. Um, I wonder if it can give me turn-by-turn -turn directions. There's a co-working space up here, so let's see if it can direct me to the co-working space. Hey Meta, can you direct me to the nearest co-working space, like turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions? I, I can't help with that yet, but I'm learning more every day. Okay, thank you. All right, so I guess it can't do turn by turn directions, but a way to get around that is by going on Google Maps. So let's do that exactly. Okay, let's get directions to the nearest co-working space. Let's do walking and then let's do turn on the audio. Starting route to the pump house. So although Meta AI will not give you turn by turn directions, it does activate accidentally sometimes. That's the other thing, you can't cancel Meta. Fuck. <laughs> you can't cancel it um, unless you say cancel. It's really annoying when it just comes up because then it'll start speaking to you when you don't want to. I want to tell you something a little bit about my sponsor called VR Wave. VR Wave make replaceable lenses for your Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses and prescription lenses as well, tailored to your specific 
needs. They're a fraction of the price of those that you can buy on the Ray-Ban store and you just pop them in. I have these transition lenses on here which has allowed me to now use these glasses indoors when I'm filming behind the scenes content and outdoors which is like doubled the amount of use that I get out of these smart glasses. So if you're looking for transition lenses or prescription lenses at a fraction of the price that you can get from Ray-Ban go check out VR Wave. Thanks VR Wave for sponsoring this video. Going back to the AI features, over in the past they have been somewhat restricted in Europe uh, because there are different laws in Europe about uh, the information that they can take from you and what they can use. I don't know what the situation now is like in Europe. If you do and you have got these glasses, let me know below. Are there still restrictions for you? I'm currently in the UK and there were a bit of, uh, there were some restrictions in the UK for a while, but I think now we're on the same level as everyone else um, in the US at least with most of the features that we have. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I haven't noticed any different. I've just come back from the States. So, um, functionality should be pretty even across there.